Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. Well, today we have a Kef UniQ speaker to look at. Also known as the Egg, but the model on these, and they're a bit dirty, is 2005.2. An 8 ohm speaker, and the recommended 10 to 100 watt, which tells you absolutely really nothing about them. Designed and developed in England. Kef. Cool design. I can see why they're called eggs. This is the center speaker one. I have the rest of them as well, and it's subwoofer. Got a little catch here for the wire, and some really big speaker terminals considering. Now this kind of got me because I was looking at it going, well, maybe the screws are in here to take it apart, but I was like, mm, that doesn't make sense. No screws on the front. How are you meant to open this thing? This, uh, yeah, well, this video is uh, what's inside. Well, if you look on the back here, there's a single bolt. Now, if we undo this, which we're going to do right now, we can take a look. So, a bit of specs on these the UniQ driver. Well, UniQ itself is Kess way of saying it's a coaxial driver with the tweeter mounted inside where the voice coil sits. So you got a mid-range and the uh, dome tweeter is actually mounted in between, as you can see right in here. Very cool design, uh, apparently it lowers distortion and it takes up a lot less space. They do sound really nice and there will be a listening video very soon, but first we're going to crack it open and look inside. So here we go. There she is. We got some polyfill type material. All here. More sitting around the driver. So we got the crossover network over here, and it uh, is pretty complicated. Well, for a satellite anyway. So we got. Resistors, three electrolytic capacitors, an inductor, and a much bigger inductor. It's a really big inductor, actually. I don't like the fact that it's right next to the magnet. And I don't think, yeah, there's very little magnetism there, but even so, it can affect it. So, it's held in by the bolt that goes through the back here. You can see there's a hole. And it pulls on this, which is attached to the front, and it pulls it tight and it's got just a foam around here and that is actually how they're holding this together so what we need to do next is take out this driver all right so first you gotta take the bracket off so you undo this screw here and there's also one on the other side we're gonna take that one off and there's the mounting bracket it's very shiny. Oh, it's so shiny. So I'll put that aside. Remove the port. A hard tug. And it unclips. Uh -huh. It's got flare on the front and on the... So that connects to there. Got a flare. And it just sits nicely over the speaker like that. Bit of foam sits underneath and on top so it doesn't rattle. And go to the side as well. Alright, we'll continue to take this driver out, so we can have a better look at it. So I think this system was about 1500 bucks to buy from the shop. So, it's not too bad. There we go. So now we can remove the UniQ driver. So it's an aluminium front. We can tap it. It's not plastic. Dust cover does come off. It's a easy. Which is pretty cool. I do like it when they make it easy to come apart. So now, here we go. Ooh, it's quite pretty. So you see, that's the tweeter there. Don't worry, I'm not touching it for anyone in the comments. Yeah, your tweeter. This is just a uh, focusing ring for the tweeter as well. And there's the woofer. And as you can see, only this part of it moves, this bit stays completely still. 
It's a cool design. And it does sound pretty good. So we have a pretty decent basket on it actually. Once again it's aluminium. We've got a one inch voice coil. Oof, it's pretty big actually. A neodymium magnet. There's a magnet on the back here, I don't know why, but it's definitely a magnet and it's very strong. These are the wires going to the tweeter. It's got its own little enclosure in the back. And you can see the crossover. It's uh <laughs> it's it's been zippy tied here to hold it still. It looks like there might be a bit of glue holding it as well. It's got a date or anything on it? Nope. There, as you can see. It says Kef Stack Twin Vented Neodymium Magnet System. Uh, it says it's four ohms here. Okay, it says eight ohms. On, well, I'm confused. It's an SP fourteen ninety eight driver. So yeah, that's the little Kef Uniq. Quite a nice, sweet little thing. It's a four inch driver, 0.7 inch tweeter. It's quite nice actually. Hmm. Quite impressed. I'm not too sure how I feel about their crossover being directly connected or how thin these tweeters were. The, the wires for these tweeters are, I mean, it just feels like they could break at any minute. I don't know. I might be overthinking it. But it just, just seems tacky. For how much this cost? I mean, it's good. They, this wire is nice and thick, they've heat shrinked it off nicely. They bolted it through, so I mean it's it's good enough, definitely. But I don't know. Eh, I don't see any problem. What are these caps ready for? What have we got? Eighty-five degrees. It's fine for what they are. Lycon. I've never heard of that brand. It's probably some Chinese thing. The resistor goes through the Twitter network. So I'm guessing it's dulling it down a little bit. That's fine. Alright, so I'm going to put this bugger back together. Uh, plug it in, and then we're going to have a listen to it. So of course, putting it back together is just the opposite of taking it apart. I'll put a piece of foam up here. I'm going to put the port in. Yep. I'm going to put one piece around here. So it looks like that's where it's meant to go. And then we're gonna drop this right here around here like so. And the screw the little bracket back in. I'm not gonna do it super tight yet. Alrighty, we're gonna line this up. It's quite difficult actually to line it up. Right now we're going to tighten these screws right up. There we go. Put the piece of foam underneath the port. And this other piece is, sits around here like that, apparently. Now we put the top back on. Make sure these wires aren't pinching. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. You gotta get it just right, otherwise it will not sit in properly. Now we get the bolt and we start tightening up. Once we get it just a bit tight, we just gotta line the there we go, and it clips in. Now we just do this. And if you don't know if you can see, but watch this, it'll pull in. There we go. I've left the cover off for now. Very shiny speaker. All right, let's plug it in. See how it sounds. All right, I'm gonna play the song I always play, and that's Scarlet Fire by Otis McDonald.
want to poke out this um, that's actually minus 20 on my amplifier uh, on any normal speaker that would actually be very loud but for some reason the kefs are very very inefficient speakers I've got to push them so hard to get any sort of good volume out of them which is really weird anyway back to the test Now let's play something completely different. Here we go. 